Hello my friends and welcome to the next season of Heroes of Might and Magic 3. This time we are venturing into the Horn of the Abyss, which is a modification to the original game. A very, very sophisticated uh, modification, which changes a few of the rules, changes a little bit of uh, the dynamic of the, diff of the ways that the uh, towns and creatures work, introduces some new towns and some new heroes, and uh, also introduces some new objects and um, other ways to interact with the map. So I'm hoping this will be an enjoyable video for people who know the Horn of the Abyss really, really well, and also might serve as a bit of a bridge over for people who might know the game but aren't familiar with Horn of the Abyss who are interested in giving it a try. So we're gonna give that a go. Now the way I like to play these single player uh, campaigns is on random map generation. So we're gonna create a new game in a single scenario uh, and right off the bat we can see there's this new special artwork you get uh, in the background as you're creating your random map that wasn't there before in, in, in the vanilla version. And what I love about what the developers have done is they've been just so respectful to the original game. The artwork is, is on par, it's up to scratch. The new sprites in the game that we'll see as we go fit nicely. Everything clicks together as though it was made by the original developers. Uh, and I've been extremely impressed as I've been uh, been playing through um, uh, the, the Horn of the Abyss more generally. Um, my specific mission for this um, playthrough is that I want to play on an extra large map and something the vanilla game really struggles to do is create uh, extra large maps at the XL setting that have genuine islands. So when I click islands it's often the case that I just get kind of continents with you know, a, a narrow channel of water between them. Now in terms of our choices, I'm not going completely random random. I ran a poll, incredibly my channel is now big enough to support uh, a poll. I ran uh, a question asking which uh, town type we should play next. I got a hundred people replying, which I was just delighted to, to, to hear back from you guys. And it was an absolute dead heat between Necropolis and Tower. Now I'm going to be so I'm giving myself permission to choose. I'm going to choose Necropolis. The reason is that the Horn of the Abyss seriously, uh, mm, well, refines, shall we say, the way that Necropolis fights uh, and the way that it, uh, it builds. So, blah, blah, blah. We're going to be Necropolis. I'm going to let the computer randomize my hero and starting bonus. And we'll have a look and see how this template generation behaves. I'm hoping we'll get a dynamic map with quite a lot of water, plenty of underground, lots to go and see and do, and seven enemies to hopefully uh, bludgeon uh, under our heel. Um, which I, I couldn't decide which way I wanted to say that, but seven enemies that we hope to uh, destroy over the course of uh, the campaign. There's no prisoners, there's no uh, alliances, there's no mercy in Heroes of Might and Magic 3. And here we are. Uh, interestingly, we have spawned above ground, which it's always kind of 50-50 with Necropolis, whether you're going to end up above ground or below ground. And our starting hero is Septiana, so we can go in here and have a look uh, and see what she's about. Let's have a look, a level one necromancer. She suffers from what many call wasted magic, and she seems to draw more life energy from her victims than she transfers into her minions. Some claim that she keeps the residual energy for herself, which may explain why she does not appear to age. Fascinating. So even though she looks like a young lady, perhaps in her early 30s, she's several hundred years old, and uh, don't get too close. Now her speciality is Death Ripple, uh, and it means when she casts Death Ripple it does a bit more damage, and she'll have Death Ripple in her spellbook here. For 10 spell points we can do this thing. Sends a wave of death across the battlefield, oh yeah. Um, sounds amazing, but 20 points of damage is pretty low, uh, and it's often going to be the case that I'd rather be throwing a magic arrow for 5 mana than death rippling for 10. Uh, but having said that, it can be a handy spell to have in the early game, and the early game is where we are going to uh, have the most uh, challenge on the, um, on the settings we have, which I'll talk about again, I meant to talk about in the, in the creation. She's also wearing the Collar of Conjuring, which increases the duration of spells by one. That doesn't uh, help us with death, death, death Ripple, that doesn't uh, interact, but it will eventually once we learn Slow and Shield and Stone Skin and things like that. She has an okay starting army, nothing to be too excited about. 
Um, and immediately we can see in the surrounding area uh, there are some gold piles, lots of sprites are a bit scary but they'll probably die to death ripple and it might be nice to pick these resources up. Let's have a look inside Dark Eternal quickly and see what we're working with. So this is the Necro, gorgeous uh, graphics, um, all of which is standard stuff from the original game, uh, I believe. I don't think uh, any of these sprites or... I'll call them sprites, things that pop up on the screen uh, have been edited. Still a lot of space for us to build our, our town, so it's looking okay at the moment, but it's going to look a lot more scary once we get our uh, amazing dwellings up and um, other buildings. Now, I meant to explain in, in creation, I like to start on zero resources. So I think what we want to do is either make a decision about going for this pile here with Death Ripple or having a bit more of a look around first. So I'm going to walk here to start with. And there's a windmill there too. Okay. Ah, so lots of nymphs. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Horn of the Abyss, there's a tenth town. Tenth? Uh, an extra town, anyway. <laughs> it's tenth, right? Yeah. Uh, in addition to the starting nine towns from the original game, called the Cove. And the f level one creature of the Cove is, a, is the nymph. Uh, and my perception of nymphs, they teleport around the battlefield. They're, they're very, very um, much like sprites, except not as good. They hit quite hard when they attack you. They have good movement, but they die very, very easily. So at some point we're going to want to kill them and get in a boat. There's a scholar there, but I really want the gold. Um, that's what I'm really here for. That's what I'm about. And we're on the coast, so that's a promising sign that we may have... Uh, been successful in generating uh, a lot of water. I'm gonna take that fight. I feel like it's something I can do even with these walking dead, which I don't love. Uh, the only reason I think we can do it is death ripple. Uh, now this is wow. Well. <laughs> okay, so and again, um, for those not familiar, I won't say that every time. And I won't over explain everything every time because I know how frustrating that'll be for the people who know Horn of the Abyss, but you get a combat preview screen where you can just accept the auto-resolve right off the bat instead of going into the combat and then clicking auto-resolve or whatever the old way worked. Uh, and if you don't want to apply that battle result, you click the cancel button and you fight the fight. I'll normally be clicking the cancel button unless there's it's an absolute crushing you know thing where I've got a huge late game army and it's you know five gremlins, uh, you know, stuff like that. I'll just be auto-resolving auto those. Generally, I'll be going in uh, to have a look around. So, sadly for the ladies here, yeah, I think, oh, they've spread themselves in the perfect configuration. Oh, this is just, this pains me. This pains me, but I have to do it. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's something else. That's something else right there. <laughs> uh, so that's Death Ripple, folks. And, uh, yeah. To rub salt into the wound, uh, not only are they all dead, but one of them come back. So let's talk about this, right? In the original game, that would be more like two, maybe three. The idea with the necromancy is that it has been halved in efficacy, so basic necromancy, Septian is bringing back 5% of the stuff she kills. It used to be 10. Advanced expert, all of the increments, uh, the necromancy amplifier, pretty much everything across the board, all the artifacts, give you half as many skeletons as you would have got before. So it's a proper haircut. It's a real, you know, it's a real change. A, a really, um, it, it's a change you really feel the impact of. Um, I can see wood down here, and it might be that we're supposed to gallop around down here to get that as quickly as we can. My first investment is always either a second hero or town hall, usually town hall. I used to play by the rule of always town hall, but depending on how much resources are lying around at the beginning, I think this is a town hall uh, game by the looks to me. So we're just trying to absolutely get the most out of our moves. just want to adjust my levels here, make sure that I can hear what's going on. 
Can't get to any of this, it's guarded by a pack of genies and they're too strong for us. Can ride past though, I don't need the gems just yet, someone else could get them at some point. Someone else on my team, I mean. Um... Okay, Sia's Hut, new graphic from Horn of the Abyss, very nice, fits in very nicely to the surrounding... Oh wow, it's a very small island indeed. <laughs> Although we don't know what's up here, it might be connected to something else. And we've got lots of nymphs guarding the underground. You probably can beat them. But I can see stone up here and I'm minded to try to go get that. That spell could be quite good for us. Given that I only know Death Ripple. All right, there's probably a mistake to waste this. Get it, well, I couldn't have. I couldn't have asked for better. Magic arrow, brilliant. Um, yeah, that's a good day too. This is a new item as well. Uh, it's the Colosseum of the Magi. Everyone from the vanilla game, we all familiar with the Colosseum, where you get plus two attack or plus two defense. Colosseum of the Magi does the exact same thing, except you, you're choosing spell power or knowledge. Very, very cool. And just, you see what I mean about it, just slots in there in terms of once you're used to it and you're used to the graphic, you become just uh, familiar with it and um, accepting. Uh, so it would have been great to pick up a bit more money in those first couple of days, and I really wanted to get to 2500 today. Doesn't look like we're going to quite manage it. There's stables there, but I need to beat lots of fire elementals to get there. No way through. So it will be one more day, sadly. Ah! Misclick. Okay, wasted a move there. Okay, we can see more Oceanids up here and a Crypt. So the Oceanid is the Nymph, except it's upgraded. Yeah, so they're, they're the Nymphs. They're the basic level 1 Cove unit. Oceanid is the upgraded. Um... So the next thing she's going to do is try to break through the underground because I don't feel strong enough. Well, she could either do that or come around to do the wood. Let's decide tomorrow. If we're building the town hall, no, we, we don't have anyone else to go and do that job. So there's the town hall and uh, an extra level added to the top of the village hall. And we're now gazing with this giant skull down out over the valley Things are starting to get truly ominous. Sepchen is starting to feel her power waxing. Someone will come and crack through all this. I'm in too much of a hurry. I'm going to drop the Walking Dead off. Um, I don't like running around with them. And I will spend this money, actually. Okay. I don't need the Scholar yet. I really just need to get the wood and stuff working. Pop in here. Lovely, there's some gold. Crystal, oh! Six crystal is a huge pickup uh, for reasons we'll talk about uh, right now. <laughs> uh, so the best thing you can do here, the best thing I love to try to do with Necropolis is to get the vampire dwelling up and then get the upgraded vampire lords dwelling. Um, so let's have a quick look in here, talk about what that is. So we have the estate which starts, gets us access to vampires. You really, really want uh, your estate built in the first week to start collecting them, and then after it's built, you want to upgrade to the upgraded estate. Uh, and that allows you to start stockpiling vampire lords, which are probably, some people would say, the best unit in the game. The best unit in the necropolis, absolutely, in my opinion. Um, now, having, having said that, do we want to do that right now today, or do we want to invest in other stuff. We have a wizard. She knows two very good spells already, though. Uh, we can consider Transformer. The thing about Transformer is it doesn't really do anything early, unless you want to throw your Walking Dead in the Transformer. But it does unlock the graves, which give you extra skeletons, but that's too grand. Um, so, just looking at the... F probably we can look at the fights to try and figure out. We can't beat lots of fire elementals without taking quite a lot of losses. They're not going to die to death ripple. They won't like being magic arrowed though, to be fair. I don't think we need a heck of a lot more to beat these. Lots of nymphs, which I feel like is where we're headed. And we could also do that fight on the way.
So I think I'm minded to gamble. I'm minded to say Septiana is well. Before we decide, let's have a look at who our second hero is, because tomorrow I could I could get them. Chana is a level one Death Knight. Find the Grail. It's more powerful than you can imagine. I'll, I'll try. Yeah, so she's the tactics girl. And her army's great. Her army's very good. But her specialty's whites. Yeah, but I don't care because the tactics is good. The tactics is very good. Um. Well, I say her army's great. I mean, it's, it's all right. Yeah, 25, 6, and 5. And how many whites does Septiana have? 5? So that's, a le that's 16 whites. Uh, which, that's pretty good. Um, hmm. To decide what I'm going to do here. So I think my decision is I'm going to um, resist the urge to hire Chana. And I'm going to buy the estate. Uh, and try to get ready for uh, a big wave of recruitment. The reason for that is that we have got good fundamentals. We've got lots of wood and ore, which you know has come off really well that we've been able to flag those two mines relatively easily. So we can build this. There it is. There's the estate. Look at it. Fantastic. There's already four vampires waiting for us. By the time we've bought them and next week's ones and the skeletons and decided what we're doing with the walking dead, that's going to be a pretty expensive um, few days. And we don't want two stringly heroes, especially in a small area where, I mean, there's one way forward, which is this. I mean, we could jump in a boat, but that's a thousand bucks and ten wood. Not quite ready. So I think it's better to, better to pile into to, um, uh, creatures for Septiana to pair with Death Ripple, to pair with Magic Arrow, get through here, get all this done, get the get into the underground, have a look around. Um, I think that's that's the way to go. You really could play it any which way though, so at this juncture of the game, if you'd hired Chana there and linked up the armies and done it that way, killed this, put Chana in a boat, okay, that, that's a way forward as well. Um, I'm more just trying to think about uh, the balance of probability, like when we get underneath, underground here, what happens if we find a really nasty creature stack that we are going to struggle to get past, well, wouldn't it be nice to have all the vampires? you know, um, and plenty of money up our sleeve to buy the stuff that's in the um, Dark Eternal. What a cool name, Dark Eternal. Dark Eternal. Okay, we've been there this week. Let's come galloping on back up again. Um, and day six, I don't know what I'm doing with my wooden ore. I could possibly do this or this. Um, I've got tons of wood, so that's good. Um, these are 360 bucks each. On day one, I'm going to have three grand. And four of these, so eight of them is going to cost two and a half K. So we really aren't going to have enough money to to build anything, I don't think. Uh, unless this scholar gives me 10 grand, which he might. Let's find out. You come upon an obelisk made from some type of stone you've never seen before. Staring at it intently, the surface suddenly changes to an inscription. Quickly you copy down the piece, and we have a look at the Grail map. Now, um, vanilla players, don't be alarmed. When you look at an obelisk in the Horn of the Abyss, it reveals two or three pieces. I thought it was three, but it looks like it's two pieces of the Grail map. To make up for that, there are fewer obelisks out there on the map in the first place. And this is a change that I support, because early in the game, in the vanilla game, I never bothered with obelisks because it's so far away from being a priority uh, for me figuring out um, where in the world the thing is. Uh, I'm going to go to the Scholar. Yet another cool feature, you don't have to be forcibly taught whatever the skill is. You can just decline if you don't like it. I think um, water magic on this map probably is okay to take, uh, especially as it's only a third skill. She's also a scholar, which isn't great, but isn't too bad, as long as we get a decent roster going of heroes that are, of heroes that are gonna care. 
Um, okay, so we are riding back past the base, and we kind of have a choice. We can either keep our momentum going, or we can stay the night for an extra thousand bucks, pick up an extra thousand bucks worth of troops. Um, I think we do want to stay the night because we'll want to buy as many vampires as possible. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's stay the night. Medusa Queens. Hopefully any of our dungeon rivals haven't gotten to Medusa Queens just yet. More vampires is good. Right, and then any other money you've got just grab a couple of skellies. Let's leave these Walking Dead compiling up here at home. That's okay. All right. So I want to go and learn how to be a better mage. Let's go do that. Try not to. So, awed by the power, I always say yes because you need the experience. Um, and normally here I would auto-click, but 39 imps... Well, actually, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm out of practice with you know, vampires and skellies, even this idea of um, what we've got here with the stacking <clears throat> is something that I haven't done for a while. It's really important uh, with you try when you're trying to build up a big pile of skeletons with necromancy that you have screening forces, these throwaway skeletons uh, that are kind of there to either soak up retaliations or soak up hits. Um, now what can you do? You can get to there, so you just come back here for me. And so we have the sacrificial lamb of a guy who's, whose job it is to die. I think that's just, yeah, so hey, let's have a quick look at this. How, what did we do? 78 damage, that's 10 damage a piece. As you can see there, 5 to 8 is the standard damage. A key thing with these vampires is that you can't fight back. There's no enemy retaliation. And that's just, uh lights out, you know, a lot of the time. Um, okay, we have movement five. I'm in the wrong place, though. I think the vampires are just going to kill you, though, right? Let's have a look at how the whites... Kills four to eight. You crack back. I don't think five whites particularly want to do that, do they? So, interestingly, another thing just to note, everyone's got plus one moves. That's because we're on dirt. Horn of the Abyss does change the way the native terrain rules work, uh, I think. So being on dirt is obviously great for us at the moment, but when you're in the underground, the underground doesn't count as dirt anymore. So there's something going on there. Um, again, the Horn of the Abyss pros will know what I'm talking about. So we go into the Colosseum. A big show is taking place, and you enter the arena and hold the audience in awe with your magical prowess. Insatiable hunger for knowledge is what makes a true mage, so you gladly accept the first prize, which is one of the newest academical handbooks, which is just so nice. Uh, what's going to be best for us? Is it better to go for beefed up spell power to make death ripple meaner, or is it better to be able to cast it more often? The answer lies in whether there is any wishing wells nearby, I think, which we don't know. We haven't seen one. Yeah, so I th I think I'm going to go for spell power. Um, normally I would take knowledge, but I've just got a funny feeling that once we go downstairs, that's going to matter. Um, <clears throat> let's pick this up. And let's just do this. Some of these jobs that don't have to be done straight away. I've spent my life buying, selling, and collecting artifacts, but lately I've been spending so much money acquiring new pieces I can hardly turn a profit. I think I might be able to start mass-producing artifacts, but I've got to have one first to copy. Haven't you spent your life buying and selling them? Don't you have a big pile of them? Your story doesn't make much sense, mate. If you could bring me the Pendant of Dispassion, I'll reward your efforts. Okay, but you don't say how much you'll reward me. Right, lots of nymphs are going down. Okay, this is going to be... This is going to be over quickly. I'm not quite sure the best way to configure all these. I kind of feel like the whites are something I want to protect. I don't really want to expose them to... Right. 
And uh, so, yeah, so this is a fight where you've got the upgraded version as well. So you've got Nymphs and the Ocean Imp, the upgrade. And you can see the stats there. Health 4, just like a Gremlin, but attack 5 skill, uh, sc attack skill 5, quite potent. Attack skill 6 here. Damage 1 to 3, similar to a Sprite. Uh, and you'll see when they start moving that they teleport around like that, just like a devil. Um, yeah, how far can you go? You can go to there, one, two, three, four, you can go to there, you can go to there. It's not going to be pretty. Um, yeah, it's not going to be pretty, and I think it might be a good opportunity to death ripple again, just because of the way they're all laid out. And the power level of this spell has gone up to 30, thanks to the Colosseum. Um, yeah, that's going to take a big dent out of all of them. My alternative is to take the hit. I'm probably going to lose... To, to, this, to this stack, I'm probably going to lose what... We have to assume that one of the three of them are going to make contact with our good um, stack, our 25 stack. That's 50 points of damage for a magic arrow. That just kills them dead. I'm going to save my spell points and do that. I get a magic, I get a water magic bonus for being a water mage. That's nice. Come on, boy, stay alive. I can't quite get there. So the teleporting is going to matter here. I don't think you can kill a vampire, but I might be wrong about that. Ocean it goes first, doesn't kill. See, isn't that incredible? That gives you an insight into the difference. Um, one on one, the skeleton kills it. Um, hmm. Attack skill 5, I've got defense skill 9. I don't think you can kill a vampire on your first turn there. It's not going to happen. No. Okay. And only one skelly comes back, but that's better than none. Just uh, keep uh, my house in order here. We still have some good death ripple mana, and we're up against lots of hobgoblins. And we have some gold for our efforts if we manage to pull that off. So let's try this. Don't hate Death Ripple here. What does a magic arrow cost now? It's only four. Um, hmm. They have 55 HP. When they attack, they're going to not kill a vampire. So, yeah, let's just set this up for a nice... Um, I think I might need to move these guys to the middle. They're not quite in the right spot. See, he can't get there. Well, maybe it doesn't matter, right? It, it mattered before with the teleporting. It's not going to matter now. Matters for anyone who's flying, though, right? So see this idea. The idea is that, well, they don't get two hits on our big stack. So he killed two, whereas he only got to kill one. And that's just suicidal. So I did take 12. Yeah, see, and it's possible that I will over... I'll be over-scared of the fights because I will have forgotten, you know, the power level of, um, of our soldiers. And that's a recipe for death, by the way. Um is if you miscalculate. I just want to go get that money. Yes, look at all this. Thatched hut, I can't remember what that does. Construction options back home. Tons of wood up our sleeve, so this is a very low regret thing to do. Marketplace. Got to try and keep that momentum going. Really want this money. I think you get peasants from that, if I'm not mistaken. Come off here, get this. Oh, I've got to get all this. Yep, okay, that's great, yep. 
sulfur. Okay, this is great that we've gotten broken in down here. So now that we've broken in down here and there are two different directions to go, we've got the boat, the idea of sending someone out, I think we need to talk second hero. Um, who can go pop down here, grab the windmill, come back, come down and help me. We can then join our forces, kill these, and or jump in a boat. So let's see who, see who we've got back at base. Nagash, I remember this fellow. It is said the Orb of Vulnerability can humble the mighty Black Dragon. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Is that, is that uh, turns, turns off their magic resistance? I don't know. Nagash has plus 350 gold per turn. So he's got a baked in estates effect. In a game like this, that's magnificent, where we've got practically no income. Um, he's literally going to add an extra 30. 5% to our income every day just by hiring him. He'll pay for himself in the first eight days. Sign me up. I mean, and look at his army as well. Nagash, where have you been? Well, I wish I'd seen that on day one. I would have hired you then. Mate, welcome. You look terrifying. Nagash was a powerful wizard before sacrificing himself to an eternal life as a lich. He owns much land, though now most of it lies within the desolate borders of Deja. So he gets his 350 gold by taxing the peasants and the poor, desperate people who live, trying to scratch a existence out of the barren soil of Deja. Uh, and he is most welcome. He is most welcome indeed. Uh, what am I going to do with you, man? I've got 1,300 additional bucks up my sleeve. This army is solid. I'm thinking you could pop down here, come back up here, and by the time you come back, I'll have enough money to, hmm, still leave the Walking Dead at home? He's got to come here, obviously, as well. Kind of want to, I kind of want the two heroes in range of each other so we can make a big blob of skellies. We can make like 50, 55 skellies, something like that, which would be really nice. Um... Is it better to just buy these skellies and go go a hunting now and just let this let this go? Take them a whole day. Another cool thing in Horn of the Abyss, you can hold down the Alt key and it'll tell you. Um, yeah, so he can go there and pretty much come back. He can go like there and come back to about there today. Or he can just gallop down, do this, do around here. So it's about a day out of his schedule to get whatever's in the windmill. Uh, I'm almost certainly not getting it if I don't do this, so I'm gonna... I'm not sure on an extra large map if I should just be absolutely no prisoners fanging it. Um, but, like on a large map, I would always just hit this windmill and not worry about it. Six sulfur, I mean, that's impactful, that matters. Don't tell me that doesn't matter. Oh, I guessed right, so there you go. You might notice the sprite has changed. So this looks like a vampire lord, his little orange coat, sitting on horseback there. That's different to uh, the necromancer sprite that appears in the vanilla game, but it fits. Like, it's it just looks perfect. Uh, it just looks right, it's perfectly exactly right. Um, so I'm not building anything because I'm going to use the money to buy... Skeletons. And if I want, maybe I, well, I could upgrade one of them. Let's just see. Let's just see. So far, so good, but we don't know how well our opponents are doing. We know they're doing generally better than we are. Let's do Nagash first. Pop back in here. So we have to make a decision. What sort of army does Nagash need when he goes and does the things we've got planned? He's going to be exploring this general area. So the hovel, isn't that where you get peasants from? So what comes out of a thatched hut? I can't remember. He comes down here. Lots of boars in exchange for the torso. Torso's level 5 creatures, I think. It was going to be really, really good. But we've got time. We don't have, we're not in any hurry uh, to get that. There's a wishing well I didn't see before. So Septiana can go nuts with casting whatever she wants. So I'm glad we picked Spell Power, and that's going to probably make me pick Spell Power with Nagash as well. 
I'm guessing what's down here, I don't think he's going to need... Well, what does he know? What spells does he know? Let's have a look. Okay, so he basically knows nothing. Protection from air. Protection spells have been buffed. Right, so basic protection gives you 50%. And expert gives you 75 and uh, I think it's a lot better now than in the vanilla game, which these protection from X spells are pretty much useless. So the, here's the problem, Nagash doesn't know any spells. And that's a, that's a problem. Um, I could build a mage guild, right? Septian's a scholar, so as, she, as soon as she talks to Nagash, she's gonna learn what's in the mage guild without having to go home. So now I'm starting to think that the mage guild is actually our best investment. Plus it's a stepping stone a mandatory stepping stone to City Hall. So let's build it. Up it goes, up on the bluffs there, above the Dark Eternal. And every ne necromancer and every death knight will walk through its vaunted halls uh, at some point. And these are great spells. Summon Boat is awesome. <laughs> it's like one of the best things we could have hoped for. Um, Curse is great. Magic Arrow, wonderful, and uh, Stone Skin, okay, Bloodlust, not bad. All of them are castable on undead creatures, which is nice. If you're watching the... see how it's showing you stuff, and then insufficient resources for research. Horn of the Abyss adds this new feature where if you don't like this spell, you can click on it, and you can begin researching a replacement. So we're not going to have anywhere near enough money to put to that at the moment. But I might come back and have an experiment with it at some point. Just thought it was worth pointing out for anyone not familiar with that. Alright, I've got 650 bucks left. Give me whatever skellies you can. We're going to leave the Walking Dead languishing. We're going to go and learn how to be a better spellcaster. And I'm going to take power for the same reason I said before. The fact that there's a well there... It's just in that initial part of the game going to make quite the difference, I think. Septiana, I can't think of a reason. I can see gold here, and I just really want to get these scouts off. We come across a camp of mercenaries practicing their combat tactics. They welcome you because you appear to be a reasonable human being, and it's only when they realize the true horror of the shambling mass of death walking behind you, the mistake they've made. Nonetheless, they're too terrified to do anything other than train you in uh, the ways of melee combat. And Septiana walks away with an additional plus one to attack, which is great. Yes, I'm very eager to hit this now, the Pillar of Fire. But Curiosity commands that I get that. Well, Summon Boat, I was going to learn that anyway, but that's cool. This gold is amazing as well. Okay, you discover a tall gaslit tower. It produces enough light to penetrate the subterranean darkness. Ooh. Okay. Um, right. We have a huge area under the ground here. We've got all this area. This, uh, this though, is a dead end, which means Septiana can't go through here. She can kill these and try to kill the Nagas, but that's probably not advisable. She can come down here and kill some gremlins. So even, yeah. So there'll be some master gremlins in there, but they will hate Death Ripple if they're all spread out. And if it's one big pile of master gremlins, she can probably hit them pretty hard with magic arrow. Mm, she can kill like 12 of them with magic arrow. The big risk is that the master gremlins shoot the vampires. So getting a bit ahead of ourselves, let's finish scouting here. We've got this thatched hut that I can't remember what it gives, but I don't think it gives anything amazing. A warehouse of ore. Now, this is new to Hall of the Abyss. You get these warehouses. Um, and what that does is um, each week gives you quite a large amount of that resource, specifically, uh, as opposed to the windmill up here, which you've got to hit every week. Um... Oh, Helm of Chaos, um, as well, in order to get the, the, the payoff. Um, got stuff here. These are new steel golems, just a different type of golem. Why not? Okay. Notice how it's all just, it looks like it fits. These are semen, 
which are the level 2 unit of the cove. Um, one thing I noticed with the seamen and the corsair and pirate out on the adventure map is that the sprite is a little bit bigger than... just a little bit bigger. He looks like kind of a giant, you know? He, he looks a little bit too big compared to the other sprites, but having said that, not all sprites are the same scale anyway. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a symbol that represents what's there. But anyway, if I could change anything, I would shrink him by about 80%. Um, or sorry, I'd, I'd, I'd take 20% off his size if I could. I just think this, this kill here is too lucrative and there's gold as well. So let's just come down and do this job. I'm going to win that fight. Come back, drink from the well so I can spend all my points doing it. This is a cool thing, Wineyard. I've got no idea what that does, I don't mind telling you. Uh, we'll find out together. This is, looks like it's blocked off. This is where this ends. And then we've got to beat the rogues to get past here. So it's a kind of a low level area, quite a lot to get done. And probably... how hard is that to get past? Lots of harpies, not too bad, right, to crack into here. So we are going to want maybe a third hero. I think Nagash is going to get the best bang for his buck down here. Uh, that's, that's, I suppose, assuming that we don't staple the two armies together. We don't have to staple the two armies together, right? I mean, because these are very, very straightforward um, fights. Let's just see, anyway. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, we were looking right at it just as it happened. That is terrible news. We already have an interloper. Dima. Dima, Dima, Dima. Give me emphysema. So he's conflux and dungeon, so it's not clear whether Dima is... Uh, yeah, whether they're dungeon or conflux. I don't suppose it matters. So he's got a starting army from one of each. Yeah. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> That is a problem. I really wanted this to be Nagash's playground for the two of them to just go rollicking around our territory, getting all the good stuff. And now we have to deal with this... with this guy. Having said, I think we can kill him, right? We can beat him? What have I got? 39 and 4. Septiana has... So we've got a stack of about 65-odd skellies, 12 vampires? I mean, it's not a crushing victory, but if we staple our two armies together, we might be able to beat them. Question is, is it better to do that or... So he's gone up here, he's going to see the spell scroll, he's going to want to get this stuff. He's going to get stuck in here. We, we know what's here. If he comes back down this way, then we could go for the joining the armies together thing. I don't know. Especially since we don't have... We're still struggling economically, right? I feel like if if he comes this way, then we can deal with him. While he's in here, we can just go about our business. I could just quickly grab this with Nagash. No, he doesn't need to go there. Right, we know that we don't have enough money to buy, upgrade the zombies. Walking Dead, I mean, and buy a bunch of them. Like, 1900 bucks just isn't enough to do that, so... So he couldn't travel much further today anyway. I just don't want to risk that he's scouted this area and he knows that I'm here. Whereas if I hang back here, he can't see me. There's no way he knows I'm here. get here. Oh, okay, this actually opens up. That's interesting. It's very interesting. I won't risk standing there, even though I think that square's probably fine. I'll risk stand there, maybe. No, I'll just stay, stay where I am. And I'm going to do this. It's not the way I would normally like to play it, but... Oh, goody. Although, it might be more important. Okay, a horde of gremlins. We've got the mana, and there's a well here. So, come on down. Do the job. Do what you were born to do.
58 normal gremlins. Okay, so they should be fine. That's in one big stack. Hmm. Don't love that, but I just don't need to hedge. I can just throw my mana at them. Yeah, there's, I'm not doing any manoeuvring or anything. Um, could get a morale flash, would be really bad for us. Just gonna play it safe, people. I know this is cheesy. No morale, no morale. Okay. Do it, man. How many did you kill? Oodles? Oodles, you say? Oh, vampires. Vampires feel so good. Practicing the dark arts of necromancy, your hero is able to raise one of them back. So that's one out of 58, so you can see the difference. Now give me that money! Give it to me. Uh, right, I'm still going to just work towards City Hall. So blacksmith's something we need. Let's do that instead. And this is kind of cool. You get the blacksmith up. It's all pink, you know, and it punches the colour into the uh, palette. Which is very, very nice. Okay, so we're happy with that. We're still not investing in any Walking Dead. And we have to just see what Dima wants to do here. Let's have a look. What are you about, Dima? Yeah, that's what I thought. You're going to go into the woods. Like a lost child. You're like Hansel. Little do you know that I've got plans for you. I'd love to have come up here and done all this instead of having to kill Dima, but... Or deal with Dima? Is it too late for that? I guess I can decide after, right? I don't want to do this gig, so she's just coming to you regardless, so that's not a hard decision. Nagash can't fight Dima on his own anyway. So the reason that's bad is if he gallops all the way up to here and comes to the gate, but I can always deal with that, right? So that's how I'm going to decide what to do. I want to find out what a thatch hut does. Halflings? Oh, maybe. Oh, they're free. Okay, yeah. How fast is a halfling, though? Oh, pff, welcome. Welcome on board, you little dudes. A pack of mighty gorgons and lots of stone golems, so I don't need to waste any more moves. It's nice to know that at least that's not another... How do I get to that hovel? Why are there all these neutral dwellings? Like, there's boars over here as well. A lot of neutrals. I wonder what the wine yard does. So the wine yard, I'm almost certain, is a Horn of the Abyss ad, uh, addition. Now, we don't quite have City Hall level De Niro. But if we think Sulphur is in our future, I think that's an okay trade. Right, and then... Okay, terrible price for the five Sulphur, but we get to that City Hall, that crucial stepping stone. We go from one grand income a day to two grand a day. That's right, two. Oh, Dima, you are giving me... You're giving me chills. Oh, no. Who is this? Dima... All right, that's fine. We knew you were going to do that. That's okay. Man, he's slow, isn't he, Dima? That's good. Who is this? Merist? Oh, Merist is decent. Couple of weeks' worth of fortress... Troops, good solid morale. I think she's a spellcaster. Yes, all right. These both have to die. So we have to kill both these heroes if we have if we're to have any hope of winning this game, frankly. Um, with that in mind, could Septiana come up here and get some knowledge, come running back down to here, fill up at the well. She could even come back down here as well to prepare. 
If thingy comes crashing through, here I am. You know, I'm ready for you. We've got another 15 halflings coming too from there tomorrow. Dima can't get to us. If we're clever about this, we could use Sepchana to kill her. And uh, Nagash to kill Dima. Nagash hasn't been here, so we could just let's build, let's invest in our heroes. Maybe do this. There's spell power here as well. What if she went boom, boom, boom? That's what I'm supposed to do, isn't it? This is my only chance to go to this one. Having said that, she's got nowhere near as many moves as I thought. Okay. That's annoying. I really don't want to get tagged. No, no. Maris can just come down here and kill us. We're completely out of position with no spell points. Okay, that's it's a bridge too far, I think, the gremlins. Nagash. Do the same thing, man. Tingle of magic air fills the school of the mystical arts and the acolyte offers to sign you on for a thousand bucks. Incredibly, this is a very tolerant acolyte, right? Someone who doesn't balk at a walking lord of death, you know, with pits for eyes, strolling into his establishment into his uh, university. Not a problem. We don't judge here. Even though you're two billion, you know, uh, two thousand years old, uh, and you're responsible for the death of scores upon scores of tens of thousands of innocent uh, innocent people, I'll happily teach you for a thousand gold what I know. Oh man. Nothing worse than having your lunch taken off you, which is what I feel like what's what's going on. Could I come do this job quickly for both of us? Get it done. My fear is he'll land there and get killed by Merist. I'd rather Merist came down here, took movement points to kill that, took movement points to kill that, went in there, went there, maybe landed here, you know, and then runs out of ideas, and then I just... Boom. Could also send him there, but I want to get the halflings, right? Just in case something goes wrong. Oh. Right, Tan. Merist, you're up. Oh, okay. Well, they've both run away from me. Sea Dog. So a Sea Dog is a uh, cove. Level 3 guy. Um, right, somehow they knew that we were onto them. Uh... So Septiana. He Dima has gone even further down the rabbit hole, so I'm even less worried about him now. I say we meet up here at the Star Axis. Give me everything you've got, and I'm gonna go and try and kill Maris while you do this job here for us. Sound good, Nagash? Sounds good, Septiana. So Septiana's kind of our lead hero, but I think. The logistics of this situation call for her to get with the program. Think more about how you can help the team. So there, there she goes, teaching him everything. She knows. Both of you know Magic Arrow now. And Nagash may as well take that. Let's put that somewhere. Take it all, man. Take everything I've got. Um, give me back a few skellies. I think this is all right. Something like this. Seems okay. These 30 halflings are like bricking it, you know, just... What am I doing here? <laughs> How did I, I grew up in this quiet thatched hut on, in the safety of the underground next to a giant mushroom and now I've been enslaved by the Lord of the Dead to serve for him until I die and even after I die he's going to raise me back as a skeleton. I might say, you know what boys, 
let's call it a day here. I'm actually going to say that's okay. You found it. several of the best astrologers gathered at the star axis. Rather than recoiling in terror at the very sight of you, they're happy to have some company. And they teach you how to use sun, moon, and stars to enhance your spellcasting ability, which that's just excellent, because now I'm spell power 5. That's going to help. I should have used Septiana to get that. That was a mistake. Can you find out what that does for us, please? I don't have time. I think I want to fight Merist with this army. I think. Well, do I? He's got Basilisks and Wyverns, and... It might be better to... Hang around in the area. Let Septiana go back to base. And we could get vampires and stuff down here. Beef the army up a bit. I could come here with my intelligence. I could visit this first. Okay. Again, a bunch of people are happy to see you and they teach you cure. Don't know if you can cure undead. In terms of restoring their HP. I don't know if you get HP back when you cure and something that's undead. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Do I want to invest in this? Well, I've walked there now, so yeah. Tan. Merist is long gone. I have not heard from Dima, so that, there must be a way through down here. Okay. Did you visit this? No, you didn't. Go ahead and do this. Let's get your knowledge up now. Uh, I feel like I need to get back to base. Why, you ask? Well, there's some stuff I want to buy here. That's not that much, really. How much do these cost? Not very much. I could get a pretty big pile of zombies together. It might be zombie time. There's sort of a point at which you, you decide, fair enough, okay, I'll buy the stupid soldiers that are, you know, these guys... In zombie, in zombie form. Septiana can stay in this area with most of the important parts of the army. She can... Um, oh, he could do that too, actually, while he's here. Uh, he could go boom, 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 and then back up this way. He's been there. Yeah. Septiana stays here with most of the army and just protects the gate against Tan and Dima. If Dima comes back along this way, okay, I can fight, but I could hire a second hero, bring some troops down to her... Sorry, not a second hero, a third hero. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. So while the cat's away, I want Septiana to learn what she can at the star axis. And then just stay away from that border. This guy's teaching Cure, which she's going to learn anyway when she talks to Nagash. So we take the knowledge... Maybe come here. And these mercenaries, man are they open-minded. Man are they open-minded. Not a problem. You don't, you know, I don't find your visage to be horrifying, soul-destroying. I think we can go a day without building anything and be happy. Citadel's quite a big investment. This would be amazing if we could get this upgrade done. Have to get the vampires back home to upgrade them. We could try to go for Mage Guild level 2, but the 4 crystal really stinks. We really want to save the crystal for that job there. And that requires an amplifier. I might just build the amplifier. It's a cool graphic of this thing, right? Across the land. Immediately, Septiana and Nagash feel a jolt of energy as the amplifier is switched on. Uh, okay. Let this necromancy roll forth. Okay, Merist, what are you doing? Okay, he's back. Dima doing all the funnest things. Oh no, has he moved up to... So that connects through, I didn't realise. He's just getting all our stuff. <laughs> That's just so bad. <laughs> That's just terrible. Oh dear. 
So that changes my plans completely. Um, she just needs to go and kick his butt. Okay. Oh, well, Nagash could do it, actually. And she could stick to plan A, which was to stick around here. So I was going to give the army to Sepjana, but I guess I'll take the army with me. Uh, I might even be too late, as it is. Give me this ore. Ten ore. That was new music as well, I think. Very, very nice. Sepjana... Should we go together? So I could pop around and give you... I could give you the army. You could run up here, do this job, and come back to me. Let's stick together. Plus one knowledge. I won't say no to. Back home. Citadel seems right. I'm going to go a little bit all in here. If Maris runs around and um, takes my town off me while I'm up here doing this stuff, then game's over. I think she's busy. Oh, this is just this is just unacceptable. I have to kill these before I can have a go at them. Who's going to get to that pile first, I think, is the question. He goes boom, comes up here, gets to here. I go boom, 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 boom. I land back about here. Might get this fight done today by the time we've finished all that together. He then has his turn. He gets the gold, I think. So my alternative is smash through right now and lay a trap for him. He, he, hasn't, he hasn't seen this. So his radius is about here, so I could get this gold and just stand here waiting for him. So if she does this job, she will use almost all her moves. And she'll by the time she's done that, she's going to be stuck there. It just doesn't work. So come through here. Okay, 48 skellies is not a gimme. Oh. Um. So I think I want to move the forces south. I might need to rethink the way all this is laid out these screening forces now that the halflings are here. Everybody waits. Um, just come back here, man. Do nothing. It's a halfling. Oh, not bad, little dude. Not bad at all. Why would I? Why don't I just wait? Lovely. Who ever said halflings were garbage? To be fair, I don't think I ever did say that. I, I enjoy killing them, but I kind of also sadistically enjoy enslaving them to serve in my undead shambling horde. Four, come back. Now you are getting amplified. Do you feel that amplification? Do you feel that wave of undeath sweeping across the land? 
Uh, I could come to here and just utterly slap the gauntlet down. Having said that, I think his scouting... He came... Where did he come to here? He came to here. So he will have scouted to about there. His previous escapades, I don't think, have shown him any of the area I'm about to tread. So I could go and bogart the uh, gold, just to make sure that it doesn't come on a... I think the gold is what I care about, right? Give it to me, give it to me, come on. Oh, a thousand bucks. Don't tell me that wasn't worth making a big fuss about. Now, let's see. Stand here, man. I think we might just about be able to, be able to tag him. It's still not going to be a doddle, right? It's not going to be a, the easiest fight in the world. Could Sepchan do this with no army? Now there's an interesting prospect. Because that gets me the crystal, it just gets me moving. I think we can do that. 32 spell points. I can definitely do this fight. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. Oh, just ugh. yay! With where we're at, I am going to take the estates. By the way, I talk in my, uh, my tier list video about how much I love estates. In this Horn of the Abyss game, estates is doubled. The effect of estates is doubled. So I'm sorry, but I, I, yeah, for starting on zero resources, oh, give, give me, give me, give me, you know, like, it's just so good. And we get a bit more knowledge. That worked out so well. They were all spread so beautifully for us. <sighs> I only wish I could fight that fight again. Heroes 3 every now and then coughs up these nice little scenarios. You know what would be the icing on the cake here is if Deem is stupid enough greedy enough to come up here, put his army here, change his mind and try to run back, and then I smash him. And then I give the army to Septiana and she goes and finds Marist, teaches her a lesson too. I have the crystal you wanted. Oh. So, alright, what are we doing for next week? I don't want Straker. So we're waiting till day one. Could we invest, though, in... Bob Lin. Um, could we invest in these uh, zombies? We could have, like, 50 zombies. Which are going to be pretty relevant. I think it's more probably Citadel to Citadel. I've done Citadel, right? Yeah, I've done Citadel. Yeah, well, we could go Mausoleum, though. Start getting the Liches online. They're amazing. It's only two grand to get that started. Yeah. Let's get some Liches going. These are the two best units. The Vampire and the Lich are the best. In my opinion, the best units. Black Knights are really good, too, though. Uh, it's the Whites and Wraiths you really want to avoid spending any of your hard-earned money on. Okay, so we're alright. Let's see what Dima does here. Things need to go right for us here. He goes the wrong way. Damn. Maybe he saw us? Do you think he saw us? Do I want to chase him? Because I could instead go up here, get this. Let bygones be bygones. Disguise is interesting. I think he saw us. I think that's what happened. So maybe he's got scouting, Dima? I think he must have. He must have, because I was way back. So on an extra large map, it probably doesn't make sense to go chasing after people. Alright, Marist is probably long gone. She's like, I didn't even know we were fighting. What? Yeah. 
least my team have actually won something. It feels like we just won something. It would be stupid of me not to get this while I'm here. I need another hero. That's what I need. Someone to run around and help me out with things. But I don't want him. <sighs> Battle Mage with offense? That's a weird combo. She actually has some wisdom, which is a refreshing change. Hmm. What could her army do? It could do this and jump in a boat. That might be all right, actually. Let's see, by the time I've done that, that's a 3,500 gold investment to get someone out on the water. With an okay starting army, she could land here and see what's here. to these costs. I mean, this is going to be expensive by the time I bought all this. Do I want to buy this big army? Yeah, I think I just want to wait for day one, hire whoever the hero is, buy the huge army, and gallop forth with it. And it's going to feature zombies. I'm now pretty convinced that I'm going to want to do this. Okay. So we're going to make that upgrade. It's only 300 bucks. But I'll wait until the time is right. I do want these things. It's gone to a horde of nymphs. Uh, the thing about them is they are going to hurt my halflings. So let's clear the dwarves. And then I do want to continue galloping on down to chase that guy away. Or to at least reveal enough to know what's going on. Then come back and get this. Can't do it all. That's the problem with this game. You can't have it all. I think uh, Maris is too far. She's not a threat to me now. By the time she threatens the necropolis, I'll have massive forces ready to defend. So if I come with you, we'll both hang out down here. We might, yeah, yeah, we'll do stuff. We'll do stuff. It's gonna be great. I don't have many spell points left though. Twenty-three. All right, clear these dwarfs out of the way on your way through. No, no, no. So we need to be a bit careful. They're very resistant to magic. Stone skin. Bloodlust, my own guy, seems okay. So, of course, they make for the halflings. That's okay. We don't mind that. How many did he kill? Oh, one. <laughs> it's like, whoa. You stay up there. We're going to try to lure them in that direction. Send the big stack south. Yeah, I never changed the config. I should have. And these idiot idiots are heading in the wrong directions. So that's good. Um, stand here. Well, stand here actually. Right. Stand here, I'm risking morale off this guy, right? I don't know what spell to cast. Should I try Bloodlust? I might try Bloodlust. You can wait as well. Everyone can wait because dwarves are very slow. So morale on this guy would be bad. Um, come on down. Yeah. 
No morale. So this stack is still too small to do anything yet. Right, I'm going to kill one or two. So I'll just continue to use you as a kite. Oh, I should have got one more. Never mind. Alright, so the halflings shoot. There's no way to buff them, is there? No. Alright, just kill as many as you can. Right, let's bloodlust. Cool. Oh, savage. Absolutely savage. Four can come and hit my big stack. Do I care? If I stand here, these guys get to hit me. And they will deal about 30... No, but I've got defense nine against attack six. I could lose a vampire if I stay if I stay here. So I don't like that. I could stand here and you let the battle dwarves attack the vampires. That's probably the best thing to do. Or that. It's just hilarious. Uh, my wounds will be made whole, but the skelly's going to kill you anyway. Why can I? Why not to alpha hit these? Though? If you go one, two, three, I get to go one, two, three, four. Um, let's wait. Hit the next most important stack. Just stay there, mate. Just wait. Just wait. Just relax. You guys are dead. Well, all right. I lost five to that. Man, oh man. Ah, morale is the worst, man. Morale sucks. Meh. It does happen, though. Morale flashes happen. HP are you on? 14? I guess I'll just wait. Oh no, I can kill you. <laughs> My wounds are whole. I mean, not bad could 7 times 3 attacks be enough? It could be enough bad, right? Just come here. Do this. Yeah, it's fine. Now you can attack them. Uh, yes, very nice. I don't even need to lose this guy, I don't think. The jig is up after all. Just reposition ourselves a little bit. I think this is going okay. Oh, another one! Oh, man. That's only because of morale. It would have been like three. Wisdom. For someone with basic intelligence, I feel like wisdom is a good investment, even though necromancy is the thing that I really am going to get the most benefit out of early. When will I next be offered wisdom? Will I ever be offered it again? I'm a long way from my mage guild. I want wisdom, right? but I'm almost certain to be offered it again later. So I'm going to gamble. It's not that I prefer necromancy, but... Uh, I just don't think wisdom matters yet with where we're at. Is it right to go chasing after someone who's ahead of me on the map to try to trap and kill him Or am I better off ignoring him? Consolidate my power in here. Come up here with Septiana. We both learn this stuff. Come back out again. Come here first anyway. We're doing that. Let's just get these things. He didn't get to them because I scared him off. So these are mine. I'll be proud of that. No word, okay. And a 
found out what that is. Oh, haste would have been good. Oh, I'm going to teach it to you anyway. Next time we, the next time we sit down for a uh, a debrief. Next time we book a meeting room. This underground just keeps going and going, and you could be you could be chasing him for God, yeah. You could be chasing him so far that you just pull yourself completely out of position. It's just not good. It's not where you want to be. Jeez, it's not Hall of Darkness or Castle time yet, is it? What do these troops cost now? Seven grand for what's sitting here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'll have 15k on day one. And that will be enough to just about buy everything here. I don't think I want to do skeleton warriors because my other skeletons are far too far away. I could also think about the vampire lords. How many am I getting next? How many am I getting? Six? So I could have ten vampire lords isn't really enough. Seven liches to take away. If I invest in the castle... Oh, I need that for the capital eventually anyway, so I could do that. I don't think I'm ready for Hall of Darkness. Um, nothing requires the Tomb of Souls, so that's changed, I think, in the vanilla game. You do need to build this thing. It won't let you up into this region until you've done it. But now it seems that you can. You don't even need it for the Dragon Vault. You can just leave it completely if you don't want it. It's definitely the weakest thing in the whole town, so that's good. Or it's good for the Necro. I'm not, I'm not sure if I agree completely that it should be out of the chain entirely. Yeah, I think, if we have another look at the map, I think, day one, hire whoever the hero is, go annihilate these, which might not be easier said than done. Lots of fire elementals now. And I'm going to have zombies and seven liches. Yeah, you just got to do it though, you know? You just got to go for it. And I might have 10 Vampire Lords, which would really make a difference. So I'm probably going to do that. Get a hero, get Vampire Lords, go do this with that hero. And I'm going to leave these two to continue this development with what they've got. I think I'm happy with that. So with that in mind, if I am upgrading the estate, I just do that on the day, and I'm not going to worry about anything else until day one. Like I'm not spending the two... Oh, there he is. I just saw him. Dima. I think Dima is. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. It's day seven, so the mill. Oh, Dima, you are dead. Yes! Let's get him. Come on. Horde of Orc Chieftains. I've tagged him. Now, I need to proceed with a bit of caution here. I don't have the most incredible army known to man. But I am a Death Rippler from way back. To add insult to injury, I'm going to curve my run so that I can get that after. Oh, I could even do this first? Or could I? Hang on, if I go here and I push the Alt key... I'll have 132 movement points remaining. Is that enough? I think it is. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, you've got the fastest unit. Four spell points will not be enough. Bad morale, what a shame. I just think four times seven is what I want to do, right? Cop that, you buzzard. Oh, the halflings. I didn't think of them. Well, I'm disappointed, but at the same time, that's what you're there for. 
is to die in agony at the hands of your uh, undead overlords. That's uh, that is quite bad. I don't know what I would change. Would I change if I thought of it? Would I change my mind? Maybe I would have hasted these. Does he know haste? Is he the one who learned haste? Hmm. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Oh, well, they're not having a great day, are they? <laughs> the sixty haven't moved yet, and that would have been a much better thing to do is to put the sixty there. So if I wait. You could come here, and then we'll pack them in here. You can't get to them anyway, though. So I might stay here. I could come here. Let's do that. Um, the halflings are dead, so it's time to say goodbye, but that's okay too hard for them. Just hang out, vampies. That's cool. Uh-huh. Well, okay. People ask go next. Do I just do it again? I think I do, right? I think it's it's in the flavour. I don't know, haste. Yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> It's just so evil, isn't it? Let's wait. Oh, and he fled. That stinks. Well, five came back. Five of the five of the halflings came back for me in a different form. All right. Dima's dead. I feel like I don't know about losing the halflings because they were doing quite a good job tactically for me. Anyway, we want to get up here and do this now. I'll only be here. I could stand here though and wait for you. Week of the Rat seems good to me. Well, why don't we do this instead? And then, uh,. So, those of you who don't know Horn of the Abyss very well, awesome quality of life thing going on here. The red arrow, so Nagash is out of moves, and normally we're used to using the horsey to show us where we can get. Next turn, we're, we're used to mousing over, to, watching the two become a three. Well, guess what? Now, it just tells you with a different colour. So the burgundy arrows are telling you that that's what you can start doing on the day after tomorrow. Okay. So Septiana knows exactly where to stand. It's going to be somewhere around here. Um, he actually... Yeah, so he can get to there. So Septiana knows to stand either on one of these two squares. Probably it's this one here, right? Nice feature. So Week of the Rat. Let's see who we've got. So that's a pretty good looking army. And drumroll. Zai. G, big army, stone skin, necromancer. Okay, my only complaint is that uh, she has learning, which isn't a very good skill for the long run. But it, I suppose it's okay at the beginning. It's going to help her level up faster. <sighs> okay, Zai. Zai was one of but a handful of females deemed worthy to make the transformation into full lich. Well, that's a bit sexist, isn't it? Zai was selected because she possessed a unique ability to resist physical damage, a trick that has saved her more than once. And that's because of... And that maps over to her stone skin ability. Um, I didn't know there was as much misogyny in Deja uh, among the elite as, as there appear to have been. So it's great to hear Zhi... Zai... What am I going to call her? Zai, let's say? Great to see her uh, getting up. Uh, ki smashing through that glass ceiling uh, and doing it for the ladies out there who want to become a hideous undead uh, thing from beyond the realm of sanity. Now this army would cost yeah I can buy it all just barely 40 bucks left over 
and I won't have enough to upgrade these if I do that. So do I want to do that? Just buy it all right now. Z rides out. What is it? Zai rides out with no first aid tent. Goes and smacks these guys up. They've become a horde today. Oh, a horde. So that's like 50, at least 50, maybe 60. Oh, a horde is hard. We've all been able to summon boats from the beginning and no one's ever done it. How many times could I try to summon a boat if I wanted to? Twice? Right. I'm going to have to think about this. And welcome back. It's the next day in real life. It's obviously the same day in our screen life here. Overnight, I had a bit of a revelation. It occurred to me that one line we could take instead of buying everything that's in the Dark Eternal that we've built the dwellings for. I don't regret building the dwellings because of the accumulation that we're getting uh, of creatures, but instead of buying them all with our 12 grand, it occurred to me that because Dima is dead or gone and Merist has run off, we may have a little bit of a development window opportunity here where we could build the castle in a couple of days, build the capital and sort of take that hit to the economic momentum in order to print ourselves massive value the week after. We'd certainly be able to hire all of the soldiers on day one that we would be getting on day one. Well, most of the soldiers on day one of next week. The reason why it might work is I think that Xi's starting army... I'm going to call her Xi, okay? Maybe it's Zai? This woman? <laughs> I'll switch between Xi and Zai. Uh, yeah, there's not going to be time for you guys to vote on which pronunciation is correct in the comments because this video will be... You know, you'll be watching in the future after I've already... Well, hopefully completed the campaign, but who knows, maybe died. My point being, uh, Xi's army is decent. We can turn the Walking Dead into zombies, buy her a few more skeletons, and she can do things. Like, she could jump in a boat here. We could do this, go exploring with her. The alternative is she, should come to, she could come down here and hire whatever comes out of the hovel, which I think are peasants. Uh, but I'm not convinced that that leads to a whole lot more uh, stuff for her to do. So I'd be minded to try to go for the boat plan. Um, yeah. I think I've stared at it long enough. The re My rationale is, yeah, we kill the genies, but then we've got to get past a horde of fire elementals. The vampire lords don't get to regenerate when they're attacking and fighting for us. And everything else is like, seven liches is okay, but twelve's much better, that kind of thing. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go for this line. I think I've talked myself into it. We do not want movement three creatures in our army, so that's an absolutely essential upgrade. If we're thinking about capital, we know we're going to spend a grand on a boat. I don't want to sit there casting summon boat with no expertise. I just don't think that's a good use of her spell points. We have the wood, right, to just get the boat, get in it quickly. This army should be big enough to cope with you know, yeah, lots of nymphs and level one sort of stuff. She's going to be a decent spellcaster right out of out of the bat, right, with Magic Arrow, uh, doing 30 points of damage. My right mouse button isn't working as well as I would like. But I think I do want to invest a little bit more in her. Um, and I'd be willing to... How much money do I want to spend... Get a few more skeletons together. How much will I pay for a zombie? Mm, few. It needs to be big enough to be sort of meaningful. But this... If I have an $11,000 bankroll, it will allow me to build castle and, and capital in the next two days. Let's have a quick look and see if Sepchanas or, or Nagash are going to help us financially. Up here, they're not going to help us with money. OK. 
Okay. And yeah, it's not clear when I'm actually getting any bonus cash. We want to get this torso. And I'm interested in the mighty Gorgons. Uh, using a big ball of skeletons on Mighty Gorgons feels good, but I'll want to come back to the town to get them. So I don't want G stealing a lot of the skeletons out of here. Noting that skeletons do are going to matter at least a bit. Um, yeah, so I don't think I can afford any more money. Yep, that you're going to have to make do with this army. G? Go here for me on your way to getting in the boat, I guess. That is fantastic. And come up here and kill the lots of nymphs. You're going to need to magic arrow here, I'm afraid. Wow. Interesting. And I've set this up quite poorly. I always forget that these can move. So you can see 19 zombies here. Pretty useful. Pretty, pretty useful. Okay. Um, just defend yourselves, everybody. We're complete. Okay, here they come. The 30 are going to take a hit now. Yeah, see, they do massive damage. It's so impressive. It's a lot, right? Just let the zombies hit them next. So maybe two stacks of zombies would have been the way to go here. She goes again. Not very good. Ten skellies is quite bad. Three come back under the watchful necromancy. Yeah, I'm wondering whether two stacks of zombies would be, would have been good for that fight. So, right, go ahead. Can I get in it today? Oh, I'm one hex off. That's a whole turn that she's missing. <laughs> now notice as well that the uh, sprite for the boat is different in uh, Horn of the Abyss than in the original game. I don't, I don't, I, I don't hate it, but I, it doesn't look quite like it sits on the water quite as well as the original sprite does. I don't know if I love the, the, the sprite, but um, there are certain changes graphically that if you're really used to the Shadow of Death or the vanilla game, eventually you, don't, you stop noticing, you know. Um, but that's one of the things that's changed in Horn of the Abyss is the graphics for that. Right, so let's do this plan. Castle. Ooh, and we get this lovely little thing added on top. Additional arrow tower from which uh, we can shoot out at our opponents. Uh, the critical thing that's going to do is add um, additional recruitment capabilities to the town. So happy with that. Now we just need to get to 10 grand. Well, all right. <laughs> what is the point of making plans? He's back. I mean, he's really back. He's back with a vengeance. He's not happy. Wow. Um, what are we going to do with that? We're going to have to... Yeah, so he's much closer to our town than we are. So I think we still do this job and probably don't build the capital now. Uh, it depends which way he runs. So let's see which way he runs. I'm still gonna do this. I think there's too much, we've invested too much in this idea. And we have the castle. So if he comes up here to challenge us, we'll sit behind the castle with everything we can afford. We just have to go for it at this point and see. It's a very powerful army he's brought. I picked a fight with the wrong guy. 
Okay, a little bit of back and forth, that's great. Take the lot, may as well. Make these piles a bit bigger. Horde of nymphs are going to murder the halflings. Do I care? Uh, if I, maybe I should care, but... Okay, doesn't look like they're gonna go for them. Okay, that's interesting. That kills the uh, halflings. Ah, should I care though? It's 200, uh, 1680 HP in that stack, yeah, so Death Ripple's not doing enough. Uh, 60 points of damage. Cursing seems decent now. Oh, these are nymphs, they're just the junior, junior ones, okay. So I won't be cursing. Magic arrow kills 15. Mm, let's just see what they do. Heading south to the halflings. That's decent. The halfling actually isn't that bad. I mean, he, he dies very easily, but it's a decent unit, right? Sorry, I got the. I was looking at the ticker tape down the bottom. I think I just wasted the vampire's turn, so that was stupid. Uh, now, what should I do? I'm just going to soften these up. I just think the damage we're going to take from them is a bit more than I'd like to deal with. Yep. Sure, so do you think. Do you want to save some spell points, save some skellies? Um, if I have to fight Dima later, there's a magic wishing well that we're going to go past later. If I have to fight Dima. Sorry, I forgot his name wrong there. Yeah, so that was good. Okay, so it is the halflings who copped it. In the auto combat, it didn't care about the halflings. Okay, I suppose that's what they're there for. Okay. It's just okay. It's not very good. I feel like I wasted got five skellies back from the from the dead. Alright. Let's get this. A stone statue of a warrior holds a silver shield. As you remove the shield, the statue crumbles to dust, but it's the buckler of the Knoll King. Plus four. Very, very good. Plus four to defense, so we like that. Uh, these resources matter, the 15 sulfur, yes. It's the same fight again, except a little bit easier. Um, yeah. Yes. Hmm. It's okay though, we're visiting the Wishing Well, so I'm just going to do that. And I'm not going to feel bad about it. Right. Got this figured out now. There we go.
There's more stuff up here, Nagash. We can get through here. I never thought we'd be able to. Lots of rogues. Seems doable. I'm not going to do an e jerk reaction. I need to see where Dima's going to go. We could just be dead. So let's just see. It's okay. Okay, let's do G first. That's right, G. I think I just want to hop over here and see if there's... So green own this. Pack of Cyclops, Kings guarding something there. I uh, don't really want to land here. Do I... Could land and get my butt handed to me straight away. That was a bit of a mistake in the way I moved there. Try and get some scouts off. What's going on down here? So that's a horde of pirates guarding something I don't care about really. I am going to guess that this is a neutral area that Green have been to. Let me just check the Den of Thieves for a moment. Green doesn't have a second town. Um, and we know that they are Conflux, and Conflux has a different terrain in Horn of the Abyss than it does in the original game. In the original game it's the grass, but in the Horn of the Abyss there's a new terrain called the Highlands, which is a different font, or a different uh, tile set. So with all of Dima being down there, that looks like all of their army. So I'm going to gamble, because we're in a gambling state of mind at this point, frankly, that this area may have some stuff in it. That said, green has been here. So anything that's free, that's lying around, won't be accessible, uh, will be taken already. But we'll see. I feel like um, this army isn't going to add a lot to the defense of the castle. So I'm giving these heroes permission to just continue exploring up here. It's okay. It's fine. Oh, right. The winery is where you get satyrs from. That's that seventh unit you can see there, Dima's seventh unit. And that's a new neutral unit. So it's neutral unit Ville here. Which is quite kind of cool, actually. I like how it's generated the um, the, thing, the the stuff. Now, Septiana, you are running out of spell points. It's getting ridiculous, and you're not going back to the wishing well after all, because now you've got uh, things to do up here. Let's kill some centaurs. I feel like casting something again. What would a magic arrow do? Kill about five? Six. I can kill six with a magic arrow. Doesn't seem great. I can kill six with death ripple across the two stacks. Doesn't seem great. I think I prefer to keep my spell points now. Let's just stay back here with the vampires. That's fine. That's not good. That's a shame. That's whites for you though, man. Oh, I'll just wait. Um, yeah, I'll just make sure of it here. That's this. Oh! Bit 
painful, isn't it? Two whites does hurt. It certainly does hurt. Okay, what are you offering? Intelligence? Ah, uh, yeah, intelligence just feels right. I'm going to take it. It's good. It's a good skill. Someone who's casting spells. Let's go check out the Seeing Stone. Looks amazing. Wisdom's got to be, right? Wisdom? It's the skill. It's So this is... I, I had Wisdom before and I said no to it because I thought we could get it later. Yeah, it's the skill I want. It pairs with what I'm doing. Let's do it. Okay, Septiana, just keep doing what you're doing, babe. A horde of sorceresses. I believe they're level 5, and they'll be far too strong for us. They're, that's a cove unit. And Nagash would like to learn intelligence himself, but he doesn't need to, because he's already very intelligent. Um, Nagash never came here or here. The other thing Nagash could do is back, go back this way and go for... A bit of an explore. I don't really think I want both heroes just following each other around. So I might do that instead. Well, we know that Deem has been up through here before. I'm guessing that just connects around there. So we'll do that, maybe he's got no wisdom. Okay, yeah, he's gonna come back up here. I can actually run past the orcs. Do this. Oh, it's already been visited this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I don't know. I'll think about Dima tomorrow. Uh, Nagash, I mean. All right, Dima, what are you going to do now, pal? Let's find out. Let's find out. Coming up. Okay. So it's now or never, people. You can take the town tomorrow. Uh, I have 12 grand to spend on defense capabilities. The... Defender. Looks like it's going to be Stig. Sorcery is okay. It's not the greatest thing in the history of the universe, but... Right, so is this army big enough to defend against this in a siege environment? Um, I'm going to say it might be, depending on whether Demon knows ballistics or has any other tricks up his sleeve. Certain creatures that we just know we're hiring for the defense. Probably these. That's my money disappearing pretty quickly, isn't it? Jeez. So it's 1400 bucks on some skellies better than 2.5k on these three bricks of unit. They won't have good morale, but I don't care. Like, let's say they freeze in combat. Like, it doesn't matter. They're just It's just human. It's just meat that I'm buying, really, right? I think the cost... Stig will also add something to the... Yeah, she'll have 20, mag 20 points worth of magic arrow. Uh, maybe let's see... Maybe this, maybe this helps. Let's do this first. It does. There you go. See? Never give up. Okay, more leprechaun. Oh, what happens? He just danced around the clearing and gave me nothing. I clicked the OK button before I saw what that actually did. People have been digging here, seriously. There's a hero here. There's a hero I can see. Someone's digging here. Wow, so let's check the map again. Very aggressive digging. So, hang on, if, if the map's like this, what do we know about... We know there's a subterranean gate in the corner there. Hmm. Not sure about that. Should we dig as well? While we're in the area? Maybe. Septiana. Let's get this ribcage. Is that going to help us? Yeah. 
Is there a reason to come up here? A horde of trogs for mercury and stone. Maybe a pack of cavaliers are too strong. Might just go past the trogs for now. Okay, lots of rogues. Let's do this. Bum, 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 bum. Right, come on over, boys. Speed six. Yep. And we'll just do our little redeploy move here. points now. Kill seven. Just wait till tomorrow. Wait this time, don't just waste your turn like last time. You boys can't do anything because you're too slow. Yeah, the vamps go first next turn, so I think I'm cool with that. How many do I kill? Five to nine. So the crackback is about 12 times three, which should be enough to kill one. 14 defense against eight attack, a little close. They could gang up on the vampires, right? So there's enough there to make me want to use some spell points on them. Yeah. These, these things just suck. So rogues have a really, really, like, eight attack and three defense. It's a massive, massive difference. Um, how much will these bad boys do? About 120 something? Should be... Um, I'll throw one, I'll throw one away. Do you think? Okay, well that was probably a waste. Uh, do I need any of this now? Probably not. What? Hadn't he? Oh, he never retaliated. That was ba my bad. Shocker. Might as well do this though. All right, that was silly. I definitely didn't fight that very well. Ooh, now normally I snap click logistics. Bang. However, in the Horn of the Abyss, logistics has been halved in value. It is literally half as good as it was in the original, uh, in the vanilla game. So should you take it? I think it's contextual, right? It's an extra large map. We're doing a lot of running around. I'm so conditioned to snap picking it. The way you can think of it maybe is, would you accept logistics if you were never allowed to get to expert? Imagine a world where you only could ever get to advanced. Would you still want it for a long game in an extra large setting? I think the answer is still yes, but it's not a snap pick, right? It's not a snap pick, but I think it's still a pick, even, even though it's only half as good as it used to be. Um, that's still quite good. You trip over what was the ribcage of a large creature, but on further examination you discover it to be a piece of armour. Incredibly, you put it on and it gives you plus two to your power. Okay, Septiana, not bad. Not bad, but you're not exactly setting the world on fire. Now, a warehouse of gold sounds like something I want. Pack of trolls, but I'm willing to spend spell points to get in there and get that. Get past these guys without spending any spell points. Yeah. Trolls are, trolls are going to hurt, but uh, this the prize is too good to say no to, so we'll do this. See if we can do better than 11 without spending any spell points. It's a single stack. So we have an option here. We could maybe rush them. What if... Yeah, what if we build a... Put the big stack here... How far can you guys walk? So I can put the big stack 
I've got three defenders. I don't really want the imps to hit my vampires, that would be bad. They're only, they've got one to two damage, I've forgotten how pathetic they are. Although have I? Or has that been changed in the Horn of the Abyss? I don't know. Uh, is this stat line the same as the vanilla stat line? It looks a bit weaker, if anything. I thought I remember them being damage one to three, or... No. Was it, that, was it that their attack skill was higher? It just feels like they look a bit too gremlin-y for me. That stat line. Uh, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. <sighs> what do I do here? One, two, three, four. I can get to there. Right, I think what I do is I just get out of the way. We all shuffle down. You go one, two, three, four. Yeah, we all shuffle. Out of the way. No, I've messed up. <laughs> okay, they're getting in and hitting the 68. Because um, I've screwed up. I needed the 68 to stand here, that was my plan, and then these two boys were gonna cover them off. So that's it, that's terrible. Like, that's really bad. We're gonna lose so many skellies now. Um, can I afford this? Dear, oh dear. Sh that's shocking. Sorry, everyone. I'm gonna kill half of them with magic arrow, so for four hate, for four spell points, that seems reasonable. It doesn't matter now. Yeah, I can't defend them, so... Just have to accept this. Oh, it's only four. Alright. I'm too hard on myself, maybe. I... They seem... Familiars seem weaker. I might look that up after. Have familiars been made worse in Horn of the Abyss? According to the documentation, there's nothing I could see in the documentation to suggest it had been, but... I don't know if I want to bother coming down here with Nagash now. Yeah, there's a thing here, but it looks to me like it just connects around, and Dima will have already been and done everything, so I think we'll come back to here. Um, I'm going to guess that that's just a pocket that's been cleared out as well. We'll see what's up through here. So, when all is said and done, I've got five grand left to spend on the defence of the hometown. The creatures cost five grand to buy, so I can do that, or I can... Just buy these guys. Man, they're expensive, aren't they? I've forgotten how expensive they are. Crikey. So what do I get for my money? For 3,600 bucks, I get 10 guys with 30 HP. So I get 300 HP's worth of guys. Or I can spend 2,500 on... Knolls have HP 6, I think. Lizardmen are about 15. Serpent flies have 80. So it's a about even actually, but I get a bunch of magic arrows out of Stig. But that's not gonna matter against all of the meat he's got. I've got to rely on the arrow towers to survive anyway. Okay, maybe is this better value for money? No, not really. Not really. I don't think I, I think it's a bit of a wash. I don't think it's going to matter too much. So we'll go without Stig. I'm not going to sell all my resources to buy her and stuff. Like I'm just going to hope that this this army is going to be okay. Good enough. Right, near enough is good enough. <laughs> I don't know if it will be. Uh, let's have a look, see if Dima wants to give it a try. No, no, no. Okay, we don't know yet. May as well get some experience before we take on the trolls. Pack of trolls. Told you it was going to hurt. Well, alright. I've only got one death ripple in me, I think. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 40 
HP each. Yeah, this is obviously what I'm supposed to do, so I'll just do it. it looks amazing when it triggers, doesn't it? It's just like, ooh, cop that, you buzzards. Let's centralize. Um, we want the big stack walking into there. I need to just... I should just change the order of how they stand. It's so obvious. But I might move him to there, actually. Him to there and him to there. Just wait until there's room. Stand there and prepare to die. Do nothing. Come to here. Big stack goes and hops into that pocket. You cover us off. There we go. I'm actually using my brain. Can you believe it, people? Good. That's right. I'd forgotten that mechanic. Yeah. Gross. Love the animation, how they walk. Look how they walk. Cop that. Nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Right. 50 to 80 damage. Okay, these guys are damaged. So let's see if 50 to 80 is enough to kill. It is. Nice. We rolled high. You guys, 13 to 22. Could be a kill. I don't really want these guys hitting my dudes, and they're kind of expendable now. The whites, the stack is so small. Okay, I didn't pull it off. And there's no need to waste you, because this will be a kill. Yeah, this is okay. The whites are the ones who end up losing. Still alive. Oh. The way they die. I'd have to roll pretty high to kill these two. Try it. One. That's a big stack, so yeah, just kill them. Two perish. Okay, so I'll just kill this one. Here we go. Yeah, so pretty bad. Pretty bad casualties. This is new, this graphic of what a troll is. What is he holding? Is it like a leg bone or something? It's pretty gruesome. Septiana is now level 5. I will never take learning now. Knowledge plus 1 is nice. One skelly comes back. It's not very many. Uh, it gives us more money to maybe buy that hero we talked about. Two grand you gave me. That's very nice of you. Thank you, Firewall. Let's keep exploring. Nagash, what can you do for us, baby? I can do that. Six crystal, absolutely. Sign me up. Oh, man. Oh, that would have been good. Hey, could you kill lots of centaurs the hard way? Lots of centaurs, lots of centaurs. A centaur has HP six. So let's say there's 40, that's 240 HP. Too much. Can't do it. Can't do it. That's an absolute gift. Same with the Horde of Trolls, I just can't do these. He does, just doesn't have enough. G. So there's been someone digging here, but it's not obvious that they've got the thing, right? I could come and get that. Yep, he's run dry. Let's keep exploring. Oh wow, this is their hometown. <laughs> There's no one home. 
So this could be quite interesting. Um, if I could steal his town for a while, that would be hilarious. Uh, okay, so I've got room for the three soldiers here. Iona's kind of cool, but she has no army, so... He? Alright, Stig. Welcome. What can you do for us, Stig? Can you defend this necropolis to the death? The eleventh daughter of Tralosk, king of Tatalia, Stig turned to work witchcraft when it became clear that she <clears throat> would never ascend the Tatalian throne with ten heirs in front of her. So she's basically said, look, my life is just like I'm... So she's basically said, look, my life, you know, is... Say, effectively, I'm a spare. And much like Harry um, and Megan, you know, like she's gone and written a novel about it. And I may as well give my life for the defense of a random graveyard, which for some reason this Minotaur wants to conquer. This is noble to me. This seems right to me now. And I respect her decision for that, you know, because she might just end up winning us the game, saving our bacon. Why not just let's make this as good as we can? She has a spell book, right? Okay. Let's bring these centralized a bit. Mm, yeah. That's not going to be a fun fight for him with the arrow towers, but we'll see. We'll see. He might not even do it. He might look at that and say, yeah, oh, maybe not. I'll go around and do this instead, and that would be quite a bad outcome. I'd rather he actually does attack, and then hopefully we hold. Uh, let's see what happens. Alright, let's go for it here. Come on, people. A glorious victory from the computer. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Sprites are getting smacked by the arrow towers. I see you've got no knowledge of ballistics and you've rocked up to me with only six spell points. Hello. That's excellent for us, right? Now, if they can't get the walls down... Now, this guy is immune to mind spells, that's right. These are very scary if they get in past the walls. Um, these are a problem. They take 100% damage to earth elementals. And they're vulnerable to lightning and Armageddon. This doesn't count as lightning. So we have to think about how we're going to use our spell points here. I want to replicate what the piece, what the auto resolve said was possible. Let's see if we can pull this off. So let me go into the tank here for a moment. Um, just going to think about this. What are we going to want to do here? These are going to fly to here. The liches probably can just shoot the, uh, the girls. So let's just wait. Okay, you didn't even kill one. So that's actually quite good. That's a good outcome. Yeah, again, I'm just going to save my spell points. You guys walk to here. I could start working you over. I can even kill one, which is amazing. Oh, by the way, now's a good time to talk about an important feature the Horn of the Abyss introduces. If I wanted to um, cast this Death Cloud in a way that was going to hit the satyrs and the... Uh, sprites, for example. In the vanilla game, I couldn't do that. I could only go for the satyrs, in which it would hit the catapult as well, or I could go for the sprites. Now watch this. I'm going to push the G key, and I can now target any hex on the field, and I get maximum utility out of my death cloud attack. So this is a fantastic quality of life change uh, to the game. In addition to that, by the way, I'll push G again to switch that off. Uh, oh, what do I push to switch it off? I don't want to make a mistake here. So I just right click there to get out of it. There's also, I don't think you can see behind my camera, I can also click the melee button, and I think it's the Alt key, uh, which changes the liches into a melee unit. So you see now that kept, that's a cancel because I can't melee. But if there was a unit in here that I could melee, I'd be walking up to melee. I just push the Alt key again to switch that off. And I'm back to archery mode. So huge utility for the liches. Here's a little question I have for anyone out there who knows the answer. I don't know if the AI gets it, and if the AI can leverage this new functionality. 
I'd like to know if that's the case, uh, because it's a slight concern for someone who plays a lot of single player that I, I now have this amazing tool that the AI doesn't have. So I'd be keen to, keen to know if the AI is smart enough to use it in the modification. Uh, I'm not sure if hacking the AI is something that developers have been able to, to do in great depth or not. Um, anyway, enough about me. I think I do, though, want to just go for this short range kill right now, right here, and not worry too much about the fact that these girls are coming over. They're not going to have a good target on turn two anyway. Let's get maximum damage from our shots while we can. I could wait. Uh, and they might be stupid enough to give me a death cloud opportunity, so I think I'm going to wait, actually. He casts Mirth on the girls. That's actually really good. They're going to wait around. I think I want to defend the liches with the zombies. So I'm going to defend myself. Water elementals think about it. Did anyone else spot that, that they took a bit longer to think about things? Which is quite interesting. You've got protection from Earth. Okay, I missed that. Uh, Dima actually cast protection from Earth on the psychic elementals. Which won't help him in the slightest. Yeah, so now this is my concern, right, about this new amazing functionality. What have you got? You've got slow. How has this happened? How do I have all of these things happen to me? So no, hang on. You So there's the magma elementals cast protection from Earth on these guys. Dima cast slow on the vampires, okay, which is fine. So let's just play the game and get a good night's sleep and not worry about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> And I'm instantly owned. I'm instantly owned by the fact that the peripheral death cloud does not work. Only the central death cloud works on anything that isn't alive, and that's a feature I've forgotten. Uh, so it's not going to matter, is it? If uh, the person controlling the, uh, they've changed the graphic there as well, which is kind of nice. Reflects the fact that it's only one hex. And there's just not much reason for us to do much here. We could curse the elementals now. Might be okay with that. Let's do that. Yeah, I think we... Wow, I think between the first aid tent and the cursing, that actually did something. So now to demonstrate what I mean. Um, the reason that didn't work is that the peripheral part of the death cloud doesn't work unless the targets are alive. But this will work, at least in the vanilla game it does. It says it'll kill one. And indeed it does. Okay, so that's good. All right, so we really are just leaning on our... Uh, leaning on our... Arrow towers here. I can't see a reason to do much different. These boys have a shot, may as well. Interesting defensive animation there, I think. Yeah, that first aid tent's mattering. Not good enough. Okay, no need, no need to curse anything. The, these uh, mirth casting guys are kind of annoying, except for the fact that none of these units can benefit from that mirth. Handy little unit, uh, imagine that. If I had four satyrs in my army, well, it would be useless for me as well, because I'm undead. Anyway, just more of the same, please, sir. Still couldn't kill one. And I just get to do this? Nasty. Okay, what was that? That was you doing protection from Earth again? Such a useful unit, the Magma Elemental. Not. I might start working over some of these other stacks, although these... I hate these. I really want them to die. Attacks all adjacent enemies without retaliation. I know the magic one, magic elementals do that. I couldn't really remember if it was no retaliation on the psychics. It is, and you just want these dead, right? We just want them dead. I'm going to just keep cursing the stormies when the chance comes up. Am I? It's only, it only matters if they can actually kill one. I'm back to full health from the first aid tent. Who said first aid stinks? Lots of people, by the way, in the tier list video I did on the various skills. Lots and lots of people have pined that first aid is rubbish. Well, 
Maybe it is rubbish though, because <laughs> she doesn't have first aid, it's just doing its thing on its own. So um, maybe that doesn't prove anything, the fact that I'm enjoying it here. Should I curse again now? Yeah. Even though there's only 18 left, I'm still going to do it. I think it's okay. Keep shooting. This is why ballistics is great, I reckon. I love ballistics as a skill. I think it's awesome. Hopeless. Woeful. <laughs> Uh, it occurred to me I can start doing some mean things with the vampire. The problem is the stormies, well, again, the AI won't be smart enough to walk up and attack me. But I share the same speed. I got speed 7, I beat you. No, I share speed with these, which isn't ideal, so I'm not going to do anything. Keep trying to kill them. Must be running out of shots at this point. Let's have a look. So we've got 7 shots left, not bad. I don't know if that tile is in the trench or out of the trench. I think it's on the ground. Just check that in the uh, thingies. Yeah, no, okay. But it's not even really the trench that matters. It's the fact that the wall is here and that they can't, they just cannot get through to me. Look at this delicious archery. Go boys. Tasty. In my last campaign as the Inferno, um, the the reason I was able to break the game open actually came down to defences, siege defences. And um, it looks like that's actually going to be the flavour of this campaign as well, at least so far. I've got one curse or magic arrow or something like that left in me. Um, I'm not at risk of losing one. So I might just still hold on to it. They must break through at some point. Wait. Goodbye, go away. Gone! Gone, girl. And that means I can, I think, jump out with the vampires on my turn, when it's their turn. They've had their go, they've had their go already. On their f turn, they could use the storm elementals to attack the vampires, but I don't mind too much if that happens. Who's the next scariest stack, do you reckon? Probably these boys? Yeah, so there's, they hope they're gonna come down through here. Can I do this now? Yeah, it's only the stormies I have to worry about in the turn after. Ooh, cop that. <laughs> yeah, so now there's a couple of different breaches, right? The fire elementals can get in. So I think we just want to prepare to defend that area. I have 80 HP, which is less than you. So I'll stand here and I'll suffer the slings and arrows that are coming. Yeah, and so they did go for the vamps at short range, which... I'm not sure that was a good trade. Right. That's still a big stack of HP, though, so... Yeah, let's come back. I don't think it was a wise move. I'm trying to just get the stacks down to similar sizes. I'll maybe block this one off. And I will centralize the zombies to about here. Shoot, whatever, I don't care. Come down. We do need the arrow towers to hit those storm elementals. Yep, so they walk onto the skull and crossbones, they take damage. It hurts, that's good. Hit them. Yep. Okay. The flies are ready to rock, but we're just defending. I can curse this guy. Do you think I should? Well, it takes a bit of damage off. The other thing I could do is shield somebody.
We are holding people. We're holding. Demon's going to flee in shame and ignominy. Does it also mean I can steal his conflux with Xi? Maybe. Maybe. He's probably still got some creatures he can hire there to defend it against Xi, but we'll see. Ah, uh, what should I do next? What should I do next? What gives me the most bang? I can't curse these. They're going to deal about 40 damage, which isn't enough to get through. We want them to take massive attrition. These boys are dealing 60-something damage, which, yeah, so it's two turns to chew through both of these piles. And I think I just want to shield the zombies. That's the, the thing I'm going to want to do. Yeah. Wait on. I might start to go for the water elementals now. That seems like the next meanest stack. They only killed one. Okay, so that was, that was, yeah, that really hurt like hell. So you guys may as well stay there and die. Fine with that. You guys hang out. Do this. Just hang 10 here. We do this. Seems right. Okay, they wrongly thought that was the worst stack, but that's okay. Serpent flies are going to stay put. That's not short range, but you're still. Ah, they still went for them? Yeah. They've been still such good utility out of them. Um, yeah, so it's definitely these guys now. Only one dies. Serpent flies are so hardy, they're so much better. <laughs> I can't believe that. What happened there? Oh, they died on the boneyard. <laughs> yeah, so both of these units are taking massive attrition from the big pile of bones that's here. I'd forgotten that that was happening. And now it's the water elemental's turn. Oh, that's just disgraceful. Oh, there's nothing like getting value out of your trenches, out of your moat. So good. I don't need you to do anything, son. What should I do? Should I hit the storm, Elise? I don't need to curse them yet, do I? These die, but I, I don't care. Like... Shield? Who am I shielding? I don't even need to, right? Curse doesn't even mitigate enough damage for, to matter. Just defend, son. Boom! Cop that! <laughs> oh, this is awesome! So... I'll just defend. It's fine. With these guys, could I... Could I get a hit in and be happy here? Don't think so, right? The crackback... Yeah, no, I'm still waiting. This is this. These guys have been amazing, the liches, even without the death cloud, all that stuff. Oh, speak to me. And now he flees. Look at our losses. Look at our losses, seriously. Three serpent flies, a vampire, and 20 skellies for your entire army. Cop that, you buzzard. Stig, well done, by the way. To hell with being queen of the Stygian. Krellian, Tatalia. Who cares if you're 11th in line for the throne? It doesn't matter. Look what you've achieved here. Welcome to the fold. Take the intelligence with my blessing. Take the air magic, which goes nicely with your sorcery skill, with my blessing. You legend. Right. G. Duh, they've got fire birds in there. Uh, just when you think the game's going like, oh yes, yes, come on. Firebirds, boom. 
Okay, right. Okay, okay, fine. I'll back off. That was a massive victory, though, man. Learn blind? She learnt blind? I missed that. When did she learn blind? How did she learn blind? She must have gone there and then stepped off it again. I didn't even pay attention to what it was because I was so excited to see the conflux. So look, we know we know your base. We can see what's in your base whenever we want. And it will show us if you've got a hero visiting or whatever who's stationed there. Okay. I'm going to guess that that's one or two firebirds, but it's still too many. Like, I'd need to completely solve this with spells, and I just won't have enough. There's just no way a day one hero can ever challenge even one firebird, so that's that's fine. We can see the route that uh, Green has taken to get to us here is the underground, which chains through under here, pops up under here. There's a road here connecting all this underground that they've trod before. So there's not much point us retreading that path. I love their optimism with the, uh, who knows, maybe they've got it. Maybe it helps explain why they've got Firebirds, but it's week four, day six, so the AI should have, it's not unusual to quote Tom Jones that they would have that. 